So Friday I got here, and I met, the next morning, I was checking out, I met two guys as I was checking out, because I was always asking people for a bad week. It's two guys. One of them was a musician or a manager of the band that was playing here, and his friend was visiting from Bath, and they were staying here. But they were a bit kind of funny and wacky. And we kind of ended up, the three of us, the whole day looking for fucking accommodation because the three of us didn't have anything organized and they were going to see Chemical Brothers. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah. So we ended up going, and by the way, like, they were like, oh, mate, we'll sort you out for weed. No worries, just hang out with us for the day, but let's find accommodation. So we go to King Street and he's fucking drug dealer, delays, delays, delays. Yeah. And we end up getting stuck there for about four fucking hours. Eventually, he, one, uh, one of the dudes vanishes off to go pick up and the other dude, Chaz, a fucking legend, this guy, He's like, let's get you, like, you look like you've got, still got the makeup on, you haven't had a shower and stuff, and you're kind of like, looks like you need some help. So let's let's get you, let's make sure you and I and, and Paul, whatever his name was, let's get accommodation. I'm going to go to this hostel, and let's go there, and let's check in to get those rooms. So we went to the, there's like a Ferris wheel, and I don't know, like a uh, London, yeah, mini under the eye, London, London eye type shit, yeah, yeah, you know, the docks yeah. or something. Yeah. So we end up there, and then oh, across the street from there, one of those streets, somewhere down here. And we get to this really cheapo fucking hostel and the cunts go, uh, yeah, we've got two rooms or two beds left. And we were three of us. And so they they, they, they latched onto the two and I, on that bed. but Chaz, to his credit, he goes, don't worry, I'll come and find you another one. So we go from there and he takes me from Google Maps about, I know, kid you not, about a 40 minute fucking detour. And eventually we end up at the fucking hostel that was across the road from the other hostel. <laughs> And I'm like, mate, what the fuck, man? We just we should have just crossed the road. What what the fuck? Oh, and meanwhile, meanwhile, people back home something. are freaking out, like, where the fuck are you? And I'm like, I'm, I'm calling my no, my dad and that, and I'm like, and anyway. So when I get there, I fucking like um, a certain budget, right? And I find out that instead of it being, he's pitching it the whole day. Oh, this, is, oh, this place, oh, this place, this one, this place, like twenty pound. You'll be right, twenty pounds, nothing. I was like, fuck. All right, I'll budget for that. I get there and it's 40 pound, there's one bed left, 40 pound. And I was like, fuck, no. Nah. Take my bag, I'll pay you five pound, I'll come back for it later. I'm gonna fucking go out and just hang out in the street or just go to a bar. Cause I work, <laughs> I work, I work in bars. So I wake up at, I go to, like, I finish work at like five in the morning. So for me, it's like a day out. So I just fucking went, I went to, Dar told me on the phone, go to the biggest club and fucking act like you're a king for the night. You got a certain budget. I was like, yeah, fine. So I go to the place called Prism. Like it's like this club. So bad, yeah. It's on the docks. It's a it big is. fucking club. It's right so next to the Ferris wheel. Go it's like one yeah, of those right. fucking, it's one of those places I would never go to. Yeah, but I thought, yeah, you know yeah, what? I'm going to be a king for that. So I put on more makeup and then I go, I buy not one, but two tickets how into much, the club. How much are the tickets? Like 35 pound or something yeah. each. Yeah. So I'm like, I got my ticket. Get my wrist on. They didn't give me a wristband. Quite, put quite, quite a bit more than the room you could have had. Yeah, yeah. Here's the thing. There's a method to the madness. So, like, I thought, I'll get two. Not one, two. And I'll kind of be... And not only that, I'll go in and I'll buy a VIP section. Which comes with a bottle of Jaeger. And they bring out, like, you know, they do a whole show. But, like, and it was £120. I was like, all right. If I was out for a night, I'd probably spend that amount just by drinking. So, why don't I just buy that bottle... Have the area to myself. Yeah, you smash a bottle to yourself. And they give me. I wasn't it. smashing the bottle by myself, bro. Yeah. I was giving it away to get yeah. leverage from people. Yeah. Not leverage in a bad way, but like just just to make friends, man, and to see if there's connections. Because I'm always on the lookout for like my band, for my bar, like just make some friendship. So like, picture this: a whole like section of the VIP section, and it's just me there with a fucking pocket full of these wristbands I can give out to anyone who can come and join me. So I end up kind of building a party. <laughs> yeah. I even place bets for the cunts next door. I was like, I bet you in five minutes, uh, how much you want to bet that uh, three girls are going to come and fucking do like a big fire show and like, you know, sing something, dance in front of me. Yeah, I'll take that bet. No worries. Went to the bars. Like, it's time, girls. They come out and the cunts like, you fucking, you worked me, mate. You worked me. I was like, pay me my 20. He's like, I was just trying to get money. Had weed in my pocket. Go to the smoking balcony. Oh, you want a joint for five pound? Yeah, sure, go in, man. Oh, you're a, you're a narc. You're a, oh, you're an Andy. You're an Andy. What the fuck's an Andy? What do you call me Andy for? You're a fucking Andy. I'm like, cunts for fucking, like, you know. Then I'm like, what, a cop? Ask me my badge number. And I go, what's your badge number? I go, 666. 
Mm. I'm like, oh, okay, you're not. Oh, okay, you're all right, mate. So I end up having a party, and then fucking this one of the guys, the one I placed a bet with, he had, he had it was a bit shirty with me. So the next time we're having a smoke, he comes out, and then we're like, oh, we're cool, we're cool, we're cool. And then these 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 two guys start getting mouthing off each other. One looks Arab, and this cunt says, oh, what's this fucking sand nigga? What's this sand nigga's problem? He says it to me, and I'm like, what? And then these guys look at me and go, what the fuck do you say? And I was like, what, what? <laughs> and it was on. And then the fucking security came and they fucking like kicked, they kicked them all out. Because I was like, man, I didn't fight. I was just backing away. Backed into the corner, started rolling a joint in the corner of this bal like balcony. And I look around as I'm like rolling my joint. And there's six Arab cunts standing there staring at me. Not, not big guys, not like old guys, but young guys. And I'm like... One second. Just mind if I finish my joint? Would you like one? They didn't say anything. They're staring at me. <laughs> so I looked at the so I looked at so I looked at the biggest one. I was like, "All right." Didn't say it. it wasn't me. But if you think it was me, fine. And I spread my legs. I said, "Do you want to eat me first? To the biggest one. And he's like, "Look at his mate." Like, I was like, "Guys, come on. I've had a bad day. I don't want it to get any worse. Not for me. Not for you. I've never fought anyone in my life, to be honest. But maybe tonight's the night." And dude, they eventually dispersed. And they're like, oh, we're gonna stab you outside, we're gonna stab you outside. And I was like, oh, fuck off, cunt. So then I started, this is where the paranoia starts, right? This is why I was freaking out about you. So they close up, and I'm chummy with the security guards by then. Cause you know, like, and the managers, cause I'm the fucking VIP guy who fucking, this guy bought a VIP by himself. So usually put in with a group, anyway. So then the security like, you gotta go now. I'm like, nah, I'm not going out there. It's fucking, they're gonna stab me. <laughs> and then I was like, pretending to be scared because I was like, I need my phone charged so I can get fucking my mate in Cardiff to come pick me up or at least buy a ta or order a taxi to go to Cardiff. And they said, we don't charge me find the bar. I'm like, come on, 15 minutes. Then you have to leave. No, I'm not leaving. Those guys want to stab me. Let me fucking like, and then I was working in the whole, they're going to stab me thing, right? I was like, come on. I started working up, like started crying. She was like, come on, they're going to stab me. Let me charge my phone. Finally, the head security girl grabs me and goes, all right, come on. Charge it here. 15 minutes. Charge my phone. And I'm just kind of sitting on the ground like that. Still with the joker maker on. And like, they're all looking at me like the ambulance guys, the, the bartenders. And, and finally, I get my phone. The girl goes, all right, I'm going to walk you to the taxi. We walk out to the fucking club. She goes, the taxi ranks there. And she goes... Come on. And I stop and go, no, that's fine. She goes, what? I've got to walk you to the taxi. Aren't you fucking worried? I'm like, I think I'm scared. Got my phone charged, right? Thanks. I walked off. And she was like, you made such a fuss. I was like, yeah, because you guys wouldn't fucking charge me. Anyway, fuck off. Anyway, so I end up hanging out with this fucking homeless lady called, um, I end up calling her Quinn. And still at this part of the story, Jesus. And still, we're nearly there because this is what led me to his house. Then we go up to the place where to pick up my bag, right? Well, I left it. The hostel, which was a bit too much, but it's got my bag. They did a shift change. And the cunt who did the shift change didn't tell the new cunt that there was a bag there from a guy who was just leaving the bag and not renting the room. So when I come in, I'm like, I'm here for my bag. He goes, uh, what's your room number? I'm like, I don't have one. He goes, what do you mean? I go, well, I didn't the guy tell you? And he goes, no. And I'm like, all right, um... Can I charge my phone for 15 minutes? Because it's flat again. He goes, no. I go, can I? Okay. Is there a passport for photocopy of me somewhere? He looks around, he finds it. I go, see, your mate left that to show that. He goes, okay, let me go and look. I was like, okay, can I charge my phone? No. I go, it's, it's a plug right there. I can get the charge from the bag. Let me charge it so I can call my mate and get the fuck out of Bristol. No. I'm like, are you an NPC? Just let me charge it. Is that printer? Are you using the printer? But look, you know, eventually he goes, leave or I'll call the cops. And I was like, call the cops. Call the cops. He goes, uh, I'll call the cops if you don't leave. I'm like, call them. Because I want them to come here and explain my situation as you get my phone charged. <laughs> eventually. You sound like you just have a ever on that day, would you? Man. You just going around and harassing people to charge your phone. And they're like, Dude, oh I just wanted my phone. fucking phone charged. <laughs> anyway, because I would have been out of everyone's hair. So anyway. So the police came. The police came. <laughs> And I was, I was like, life, oh, fine. I'll wait outside. I got my bag. He let me get my bag. And I, I, was, I was sat on the fucking, like, against the brick wall. 
Did you watch the video? Yeah, yeah. You saw it. So, like, then the cops show up, and, like, I'm, like, I cut my finger because I'm the, the fucking broken bottle because those cunts did say they wanted to stab me, so I did have something on me because I was, like, why well, is there another broken bottle? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That wasn't my first broken you're, bottle, you're, man. You're into breaking bottles. It's the, it's the second one I've ever done in my life. I've never broken a bottle in my life. that you think you're going to hurt, yeah? I'm just going to jump in here That's and say... <laughs> From the amount of broken bottles in the store, you would think that he's, he's, he's prone to hurting, hurting people. That, that was oh, like shit. Sorry, man. This is Sorry. the least violent person that I've ever met in my life. Like, yeah, he please, has never, ever disclaimer. been in a fight Guys, I was in his work- entire life. But sometimes he, he gets into this mind frame where he's like, people want to hurt me and I need to protect myself. But because he's like so big and scary, well, for me anyway. <laughs> Maybe, maybe, maybe big compared to me, but like, he's not a, he's not I mean, the kind of guy that you like, you know, come up to and like, you know, try and hurt. Yeah, yeah guys, so please, I'm not a violent person. I've never actually hurt anyone. I've been hurt plenty of times, but I've never actually hurt anyone. Anyway, so like, the police come and I actually started doing this during the situation with the police. So it's on Facebook, a video. Yeah, There's I a told video. It's probably Watch not a good this. idea to put a recording of like, you know, police officers speaking to you on. on like that. There's so definitely what? some GDPR shit going on Dude, there. it's good promo because that guy, I he was a boss. Over there by Nakota, yeah? At St. Paul's Carnival. No, no, Co- 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 coming down the road on horses. And I was like, fucking hell, I've never seen a pig on a horse before. Oh. They pinned me up against the phone box. Uh. But I've grown up around horses my whole life. So I just like. Oh, really? Just stroked the horse and walked past them. Like, hey, guys, <laughs> there's hundreds of people over there. Like, Fuck, he's off. <laughs> 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 yeah, like, my, my, my carry, on, carry on there. No, but that's, that's it. That's it. That's it. Like, like, like literally. Well, then, then, so, okay. So, at the end of this video, basically, they no, take no, me no. to the McDonald's where I sit down and I'm freaking out. Yeah, but I you, get the you, fuck you, out. yeah. I, I want to hear the part about when you, yeah, you, you, you being in my house. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, I want to hear. Your, I, I don't care about okay, all that other so shit. So this lovely guy, this lovely guy who looks like Colin Fossil from fucking. Um, what's that movie called? Oh no! Fuck, fuck this shit! No! 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 So, <laughs> sorry to interrupt yourself, but like, <laughs> then this guy out of nowhere, as I'm trying to work out with the how to get the fuck to Cardiff, this guy shows up and was like, piece of advice, don't take the train, take the bus. I was like, oh, sweet man, thank you. A bit later, he comes, to the, you know what, why don't you come to my place? I can give you a shower. I was like, all right, George, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, he he's says, like, I'm in a fucking rush, the missus is going to kill me. <laughs> George's like, just come and I'm sure I'll be late. <laughs> yeah, George, take some responsibility. Anyway, anyway, so like, so I'm like, Sean, no worries. Now, like, I have a bit of an obsession with the Joker, admittedly. And recently I saw the sequel where, at the end, he, have you seen it? No. No. Oh, it's so much telly. Fuck, no. Spoiler alert, he gets stabbed, right? He gets stabbed by someone who's just like meant to be friendly with him. That was how it ends. So, um, everyone's like that when someone's meant to be friendly and stab you in the back. You know? <laughs> I get in the car. I'm dying for every time with his friend stabbing the back. Yeah, I get in the car with this dude and I'm like, hey, it's cool, man. We're going along this little spot. We're going to his house. He's showing me all his woodwork and stuff. I'm like, fuck, you're a genius, man. And like, we're going back. He shows me his fucking hot tub time machine with the bottles. I was like, fuck, this guy's a dude. So then he tells me this story about how he gets lost in the Caribbean. Which is a story onto itself. Do you think I've heard that one? That's another story. That's another story. On. <laughs> uh, hang on, one story at a time. So, and then... You told him the one about when you got lost in Scotland in the forest. Right? <laughs> 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 they were like next to a fucking 200 foot cliff and the dog just going, wow, all night. And they woke up in the morning for the morning. Got lost for like over four. Fucking oh, hell. Who is this guy? <laughs> I've seen that. I got over lost like 40 in the hours in the prison down in the tripping balls for about no, like can, 10 no, 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 hours. Focus, if focus, if carry on. If I would rename him first name so now and call him shit happens. That would be his name. <laughs> right. anyway, anyway, so then, like, I don't remember asking for Coke or Ket, but maybe I asked for a line of something. You asked where you could buy any. Oh. What? Anyway. <laughs> George, that, I don't remember. Fuck, you got mixed But, like, then he pulls out this line, play, like yeah. this. It does. And I was like, I was like, what's that? Is that Coke or Ket? He goes, it's, it's CK. I go, like, what's you're, that? You're, it's you're, Calvin you're, Klein. I'm like, you're, what's Calvin Klein? You're in Bristol. We do lines like this. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like oh, I'm a tourist. I don't know. I'm not. I should have known better. I'll serve the I so should have known better because my ex-girlfriend's actually from here, funny enough. Anyway, so, um, I do the line. Oh, I go, I, I go, what's it like? He goes, well, have you done coke? I'm like, yeah. He goes, have you done coke? And I'm like, yeah. As in, I haven't had it much, but yeah, I've done it. 
as well. It's like that. It's just one and that. I was like, okay, let's do it. So I did it. And usually, bear. It's like fucking way stronger and a whole different hair. See? Colin Fuzzle over here. The combination of the Ket High and the Coke High, like, the Ket will send you into another dimension. The Coke will skyrocket you into another dimension. You just end up pretty much. I've never, I've never felt. I've when never was... been out of control of myself. Never. Even I've had mushrooms. I've been on ayahuasca, and I've never been uh, out of control. I, I did so many mushrooms at my third year. I ended up running around while I'm naked in the snow in January for the ballet. Sounds like my a blast. Mates, like trying to rugby tackle me, bridge. Sounds like, like a blast. I would love that. That, was, that, that sounds like fun. You need to come inside. I'm like, nah, mate. Well, this, me this... and Zach had a magic mushroom eating competition. Like really pissed in the morning. My mum was there. She's like, boys, you need to be a bit sensible with this. And I was like, I'm going to eat the most. <laughs> I must have ate like half ounces of also been just like, oh, yeah, yeah. And then just you lost it. About half ounce of mushrooms. <laughs> half ounce. Half ounce. <laughs> Holy fuck, that yeah, is 14 so like, grams. And then I was like fucking 14 running around grams outside. 14 grams of mushrooms. That's house, a superhero in touch. Make it, Rob's running after me. Bryn's running after me. That. Mate, it's January. I'm <laughs> two foot of snow, <laughs> mate. Like, calm down. Yes, I'm, I'm gonna like, now, nah, I'm fine. This is fucking sick. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just imagining my mom walking with me. Yeah, my mom was saying, so anyway, 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 let's no, focus. Let's focus. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna win. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love it. We're gonna call it. This podcast is gonna be called Bristol Tales. Wait, Tales of Bristol. Wait, Okay. Yeah. 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 so, uh, where were we? So, yeah, then, uh, in short, the world flips upside down. And then the next thing I'm kind of know, I'm paralyzed. I'm kind of talking nonsense. I'm rubbing things in my face. I'm like thinking, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm acting. This isn't real. I'm actually acting crazy. But I kind of, through acting crazy, I'm now crazy. And I didn't know where the acting and the non-acting and the protection and the real fear and the real and the non-real fear began and end. It was just all like... Like, I'd literally gone, you know? He, has, he does that thing on, give me the phone. You, you're, you, by the way, kept your cool so cool. And she has a screen recording on her phone of this whole thing. Of her face I, I, and me. I, I'm amazed at how, how cool you were with it all. And, and yeah, how, 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 how you kept your cool so much made me think that you do this a lot. Because <laughs> I was like, I was like, she, you were like, you were like, okay, let me speak to him. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> 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 no, 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 she was doing her nails. She was, she, was doing, she was doing her nails while she was on the phone. Listen she was doing her nails. Listen to the sound of my voice. Calm down. He's not trying to kill you. He's not trying to. Okay, listen, listen, listen to the sound of my voice, my love, my love. It's okay. I'm here. I'm here. Just listen. Have you ever done CK before? <laughs> no. Never. Exactly. No. You have no idea. I've had that kind of like trip in India when I did too much can and I was there. It's like, and here's the thing Bear, you okay? all I, I can like, remember Whoa, in the whole neighbours fiasco was like I'm fucking having a like a, a heart attack slash like psychopath, psychopathic fucking episode in his backyard and he's worried about the fucking neighbours I was so <laughs> insulted I was like yeah, 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 yeah. so you want to go and buy for a penny so like so like I, I was also like, why is he worried about the neighbours? I'm fucking dying here. <laughs> <laughs> He's in my garden being like, you drunk man, now you're going to kill me. It's like, oh my God. Like, it's like oh. fucking like 10, 11 o'clock in the morning on a but fucking here's the thing. Saturday. When, no, when, when I, when, when, kids in here's the thing. thing is, when you garden. first put me onto the phone with him, he was, he was almost talking nonsense. To anyone else, it would have been absolute nonsense. But because I know him better than the back of my hand, when he said, babe, I've, I figured it out. It's Opesh. Oh, yeah. It's Opesh. Yeah. It's Opesh, babe. It's Opesh. Yeah. I'm like, yes, yes, man. Opesh is a made up word. The name of my podcast is also the key word to my fantasy novel that I wrote. Which is which the word itself is about like once you with hear it, you get word, with that one word with that one word as soon means. as he said that, that that was the first thing he said. With that one word I realized what was going on. I was like, <laughs> you are tripping balls right now. Like yeah, you are yeah. on a different dimension. Astro I was like, plane, oh, Okay, much, so okay. Let's just calm you down. Let's no. So they put this product of this no, madness into a car <laughs> with him <laughs> driving, and I'm like, but all, I, I, all I could think of was nice of me not just to 
kick you out the front door. No, but, but I was terrified. But, but, I, but, I, but although I was a bit pissed off by the fact that I bought some fucking Nacho. nutter into my house <laughs> that is fucking <laughs> causing me a lot of grief. <laughs> I, 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 I also George. did it. No, he exactly. Fuck, he fucking asked for it. Yeah, but he, he asked for it. know what it was. He asked for it. I was like, if I hadn't slept, for I've fucking never had three sheep. days and I needed it. to get to Gatwick a big it. fucking line is exactly what I needed a lot of coke sure but mix it with the cat and you're, I you're know no no no, no but it was only a little bit of cat mainly cat anyway coke. anyway <laughs> anyway so, but my mind but was, you said, you my know, mind went you from, like, like that. You can't but anyway, I still uh, drove it to the train did, 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 did. But bear, my line of thinking went from, no, okay, he's not going to kill me, as in he's not, a, he's not going to stab me, he's not a serial killer, he's a great guy. But he's just done what I've done, and I've never done this before, and I'm freaking out. And he's fucking driving. <laughs> and, and I was like, he's going to kill me, all right, but he's going to do it by accident. I was like, pull over. I was like, yes, tell him to pull, tell over. Him pull over. And you were like, and, you, and he was trying. <laughs> I wanted to get out of the car. I didn't and even realize that you guys were in the car. I was driving. just driving down Feeder Road. Normally. Normally? And me, it looked like. like Grab the car! Grab the car! It's just a car driving on the other side of the road. <laughs> <laughs> the opposite direction. He's like, watch out for the car, pull over! And he's like, fuck! Yeah. No! Oh, kid! And then he gets out of the car, <laughs> and then fucking breaks the bottle, starts frightening strangers with it, and then starts trying to get back in my car. I was like, mate, I put <laughs> that bottle the fuck out. I just wanted to drive it the whole way. And you not there, get back there. in my car, I was like <laughs> lost in Alice in Wonderland. And I thought, you just have to drive me a little bit further. I'm at the station. Just take me a bit further. And he's like, I, I can't because of some conditions. I'm like, what conditions? And he explained it. It didn't make any sense. And I was like, just take me a bit further. And he's like, no, nah, man. See you later. Good luck. He's, I like you, and we'll, I'll, be, I'll, I'll look out, like, I'll, I'll check in on you, but dude, I'll, this is it, I'm done, like, and I was like, right, fine, so I ended up walking, and I lived on Facebook, I went live on Facebook, yeah. and I, and you can watch it on my Facebook, you, um, and Yaz is talking to me, and, and like, I'm walking going, okay, I think I'm, I'm, I'm coming, I think I'm coming to my senses now, <laughs> I think, it's, uh, uh, but, but still, like, what, um, and it's on Facebook live. <laughs> And what happened next? I ended up getting on this on the fucking train and get, getting the car of and staying at fucking Ron's place for a, to have a shower. But I was obviously fucking out of it and I was talking lots of shit. And his kids were there. And his kids were awesome. Like, we kind of... I get into... I switch into teacher mode. And right from the start, like, me and the three kids. Then uh, the one was, like, five and the other one was maybe eight. Um, fucking meerkat and... Um, He's, uh, he's just penguin. So, like, yeah, we just hung out for, like, three hours. And, like, by the time my mate was like, oh, mate, we've got to get you out of here. I don't want you around the kids and stuff. The kids were crying. They were like, don't let him go. They're like, let him stay. And I'm like, can I stay? No, nah, man, no. Nah, we've got to get you to when, fucking... When did you realise you had my keys then? <laughs> yeah, by the way, before, when I took the line of coke, I was like, all right, I'll just use your bathroom. As I'm going up the stairs, I see these keys sitting on the fucking step, and I'm like... Oh, he must have lost his keys. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll get him and give him back to I him. I keep my keys on the front step, on the stairs. He, for some reason, leaves them on the step. It's, it's and so I pick up... Keep your so keys, I, like, as you come in the house. <laughs> Not when your kids get into about four and she's going to start hiding. Or you bear fucking I psychotic randoms. <laughs> <laughs> random fucking my home walking door. around your house. <laughs> yeah. I would so no, at what point did you realise you had your, his keys on you? I don't know, but I remember like pulling out the keys from a pocket. It might have been in Cardiff. I was like, "Who's these?" I was like, "Oh fuck, <laughs> these are George's keys." Because I remember I was uh, the plan was pocket, toilet, downstairs. Mate, you left your keys on the steps. That was what I was planning to do. It ended up being pocket, toilet, downstairs. This guy's gonna kill me. Get me out of here. <laughs> I totally forgot about the keys. You know, it's a good job, George. It's a good job that even after all of this, you still wanted to take his Instagram because if he hadn't, he would have never got your keys oh, back. Yeah. And here's the thing: like, he messaged me on. Where did you message me? And I would have always been curious. 
<laughs> so where the hell he ended up? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was you okay? Because I was like, so I'll tell you, because I, like, I, 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 could tell, I could tell it no, was well, just a, yeah, a, a, it was I could, one of the main reasons why I could tell, I could tell it was like a wave of psychosis. I could tell you weren't actually mental. It was just psychosis, but it, I was still just intrigued of like fucking like. No, yeah. I, I am mental. Okay. That is, I feel you, you were experiencing psychosis. Anyway, so that's that story, and well done to the other stories, including the fucking awesome story. Um, but yeah, one day I'll tell you another story about what happened to me in London after all this. And that, that what happened to me in London, in Bristol, that was child's play. 